Margate has become something of a statistical anomaly in the last few years, and it's not for the right reasons. The seaside town has drawn national attention due to the poor state of its high street, rated one of the worst in the country because of its volume of closed-down shops. The average vacancy rate on the nation's high street is 14.6%, but Margate has regularly seen rates as high as 38 The independent review by Kent High Street found that its current vacancy rate is 26.3%, but that's still 12 above the national average, so why is it so high? We asked the Mayor of Margate. I'm well aware of the fact that a lot of the leases were coming to an end about 2003, 2004, and we also had a huge drain of um, expenditure over to Lakeside and to Blue Water when that opened. And the shops that were about to close in Margate were not going to relocate anywhere except at a new shopping centre. A walk up the high street in question will see you walk past an empty shop nearly every three outlets. So how has having a dilapidated high street changed people's perception of Margate? Big concern for me, both as the ward councillor and as the mayor. I have had teams of people coming out with me to clean down shop windows, empty shops. I've asked officers to write to the agents and the owners, because there are owners of some of these shops who don't live anywhere near this area. They don't know that their property is dilapidated. Awful things like dead pigeons inside the shop windows... Um, but I've had teams of people come out with me cleaning down the high street, getting rid of the weeds. A number of high street experts have also pointed accusing fingers at property landlords, arguing that they're more interested in rent than helping preserve the high street. But does the Mayor of Margate think that landlords have done everything they can to help maintain the high street? I'm afraid that happened. Um, it's been an issue for me for quite some time. Um, in some cases, people will own properties, they'll land bank them, they'll make no effort to look after them, they'll charge too high rents, that's the big issue, the rents are very often too high for um, local people, local economy to, to sustain. But there are signs that Margate is improving, or at the very least drawing more people to its town centre. The Turner Contemporary Gallery was opened in April 2011, but has it helped people to visit the high street? It's wonderful. You can see the changes. You can see the young people down here looking in the, in the windows, at the agent's windows, seeing about buying property. They had 360,000 visitors in the first few months. And it's, it's just amazing to see the flow of people heading towards Turner and now they overspill back into the town and it has to move higher up the high street now. People's shopping habits are of what they are. Most people want to go in, find everything in one place at one time and get on with it. But things have changed. We've got to look at ways of changing. And Mary Portis came down. I met with her. We recognise the issues we have. We've put in a bid for the town team. Um, you know, there's this £100,000, which would be a small way of helping us here. But we're all working together. Really good group of people now within the town who want to work together, traders working with the council.